and I'm gonna be starting the molding process. So the epoxy that I used is actually really good. It glued the hell out of this chunk on top. That's the glue, so has to be sand, but the line is getting thinner and thinner and much more smoother to the body. So when I do Bondo, just lay it over it like that, it's gonna be so smooth. I can already see it's gonna look amazing. Everything's smooth on the top. I still have to do the bottom. The bottom just this took me about I think an hour and a half, two hours. The bottom is so thick, this is gonna take me a while. And hopefully that thing can actually like get it without scratching anything else, like the headlight but it was really difficult to do it here so I had to use everything by hand on top because of the curvature. So hopefully here it's more flatter, but yeah, it's getting pretty good. Um, there's still gonna be a tiny like bump when it's molded, I'm guessing, but don't really care. It's still gonna be nice and smooth. You won't really see it unless you're like standing and staring at it, but it's coming along good. So we figured out one issue. That's right here. The epoxy actually didn't stick to the bottom. As you can see right there, I guess there was an indent on the inside, even though I tried sanding it down. So the bottom is not really attached. I'm gonna have to put a screw in and then just bondo over it. But we're doing the bottom now. Alfred's helping me out here. And it's coming out really good. So we're about to finish uh, sanding off the one line that was here, which was kind of stupid, made no sense why there was a line here. Sand it off, clean this up, and then bondo everything. Wait for that to dry, then we're gonna sand the bondo Hopefully it looks good. We're gonna primer and it's gonna be ready for paint. Then we can start on the white body. Smooth, smooth. Doesn't look too bad. It's getting smooth. Yeah. I'm gonna blow it a little bit more and then I'm gonna get um alcohol. Sneak peek at the wheels, guys. I wonder what they could be. Big meaty boys. Guess I'll find out soon. How does it feel? Tell, tell the people. It feels weird, but I think I'm getting a lot of bubbles. Are you? Yeah. Yay. Kind of. So the first coat of Bondo is on and uh, kind of pissed off at it because uh, I basically mixed the proper amount of Bondo as uh, it was instructed. And what I noticed is when I actually took out the putty not the hardener, the actual bondo itself, when I took it out it was very like uh, chalky, it wasn't really uh, liquidy or smooth and I thought maybe that's how it came so I uh, mixed it in, I noticed that it was becoming even more chalkier it was just hardening so I think we have a little clip of it when I was putting it on and it was just hardening too fast so that means I put too many, uh, too much hardener in it so I did another take with less hardener and it was still chalky and then it hit me that I actually had bad Bondo because on the bottom of the Bondo, there's like really weird chunks that um, were like kind of liquidy and then they had like black things in them. So I had bad putty, but uh, I kind of made it work. So I put one layer on it, I smoothed it out. This is not the finished product. I'm gonna put another layer. I'm actually gonna go and buy like really good Bondo from either AutoZone or um, order it online, order something nice instead of getting a kit that was probably sitting on the shelf for too long. But I'll stop talking, I'll show you my first coat. I um, sprayed it already with primer, which I wouldn't recommend anyone doing if this is your first coat. Put more coats on than do primer, but I had to do this because 
it's going to be raining and I don't want all my bare metal to start rusting. So I kind of just hit it just to see how it's going to look and I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. Um, but like I said, this is only the first coat. I'm still going to apply probably two more coats of Bondo. Maybe even one more. It depends on what's going to come out. But this is what it looks like right now. And I think it looks awesome. This is where the... As you can see, this is the primer that's coming off. So it's not the actual uh, Bondo. The Bondo is right here. These little spots that are missing, that was the Bondo. It was like kind of cracking on me. So I guess I was having bubbles in it. But uh, some spots were pretty good. Like the bottom right here was actually smooth. And this side was a little bit like, this is still wet for some reason, it's not hardening. But uh, most spots are really good. And uh, yeah, this spot right here is good. Um, I kind of missed here with the primer. I just don't want it to rust, but um, this is what it looks like so far and I'm really happy with it. It has a little like bump still, but that's because, like I mentioned, like there's still a few pieces like chipped here that I need to reapply Bondo. So when I add more Bondo, it's just gonna be really smooth. But so far, it looks really, really good. So yeah, this is just the first layer. Um, really happy with how it came out. It's not amazing. Painted over the emblem because I do not care. It was messed up anyways, but apparently this like primer comes off, but I have new emblems inside. I think I showed you already the carbon fiber ones, but for a first time doing Bondo, this is really good. I'm happy with it. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way because crappy Bondo, period. But if you have good Bondo, then this is the way to do it. Um, just take your time, sand everything down, epoxy first, sand everything down so it's really nice and thin, and then slowly apply the Bondo and then let it rest, cure, get hard, and then you can sand it down. And then throw some primer on it. I'm really happy with it, to be honest. For first time trying it, even though this is the first coat, I'm still super happy with it. Damn.